Today's video is brought to you by Vite Ramen. Something very, very special is coming soon, so keep your eyes open. It's finally here. The full-length trailer for Kenobi dropped today of all days, May the 4th, a very special day for Star Wars fans. And there's a lot in here that needs to be discussed and a lot of small details that you won't notice unless you're really paying attention. So in today's video, I'm going to break down the trailer scene by scene. I'm going to give my impressions and we're gonna have a great time. Now, I usually do like to have face cam on as I'm doing this so you guys can see my reaction as I'm watching. Unfortunately, I and my daughter who's here recording with me both have COVID. It's not too bad, but I don't want my somewhat sickly appearance to take away from the beauty we have in front of us, I say, as Obi-Wan Kenobi rides by on his Eopi. I believe that's what that mount is called. With that being said, though, let's get started. We'll go back to the very beginning. We'll break it down scene by scene. I'm going to try to do this in a somewhat flexible live format, uh, kind of like a discussion. If you see something that I didn't, something that I missed, please let me know down in the comments below. But let's get started. All right, so I think this trailer right off the bat starts off with a little bit of misdirection. And I'm going to pause it so I can explain. There is what I believe a bit of audio trickery here. First of all, we have Obi-Wan talking and saying that they're coming for us. They're going to hunt us down, talking about the Inquisitors. And the next scene is him talking to the new Uncle Owen. I say new Uncle Owen because until he adopted Luke, he was just Owen. Um, but the implication is that Obi-Wan's talking to Owen the entire time. What I think is actually happening is that the trailer has cut together two separate pieces of audio, and the first one is Obi-Wan actually speaking to someone else, perhaps another Jedi survivor, another Republic loyalist, kind of warning about the Inquisitors, and that it's not actually Owen that he's speaking to the entire time. I'll let you guys listen, and you can figure out if you agree with me here. It's definitely possible he's talking to Owen, and we get to see Luke, Owen, and Baru here. But I, I, I don't know. It definitely, the, the way it's kind of worded, it does sound like he's talking more to a Jedi than the Guardians of Luke. I, I think if he was talking to Luke, he'd be more concerned about, you know, keep him hidden. Um, because as we can see, it seems like they've kind of been in the same place for the whole time. They're not exactly in hiding. Obviously, Tatooine's not the busiest planet ever. Um, but it doesn't seem like they're all, they're going out of their way to be incognito here. I mean, Luke's got the same last name for Pete's sake. Leave us alone. When the... If he is talking to Owen, I think it's definitely a different context, different conversation. Um, a lot of people are pointing out correctly that, uh, Obi-Wan absolutely gets flamed by Owen here, and that's hilarious. It fits Owen's character really well. We can see that after like 18 years of this, by the time of A New Hope, 19 years, he's fully tired of Obi-Wan shit. This hermit's been on this planet trying to corrupt his adopted son for a while now. Even here, only a few years after Revenge of the Sith, though, he's fully kind of over it. He's been affected by the same trauma that everyone has, which is a detail that I really like. Yeah, train him like you trained his father. Great job, Obi-Wan. That worked out well. So this is the uh, Fortress Inquisitorious, I, I believe is what they call it. It's on the planet Nur, uh, though the same one you do visit in Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, this is a different perspective than you see in the teaser, but it's obviously the same planet. We can see the Lambda shuttles here. We can see some TIE fighters. This is a new sort of lander that we have seen in some concept art. Much smaller, obviously, than the Lambda back here. Cool design, it's not quite as small as, uh, this is a bit of force perspective, it's obviously significantly further back in the hangar, um, but I think we'll be seeing some action shots with this as well, and this is the new, um, in uh, Inquisitor shuttle, or the new Inquisitor ship here. Let's continue. Uh, uh, I guess before I do, actually, I do want to take a second to talk about this Inquisitor here. Um, her name is Reva, and I actually love her throughout this trailer. Her acting is just amazing. She brings so much emotion. She's so threatening sounding, almost like desperate in a way too. We'll get to that in a second. 
So I hate these moments in Star Wars. <laughs> There's always at least one moment in a trailer where we get a map with Aura Bash. First of all, I don't know who this is. Um, but yeah, I don't. Is she one of the? I'll, I'll check that. But um. There's always a point where we get a map or something with Orabesh, and I've got to translate it. I hate doing that. As far as I can tell, and it's a little bit difficult here because you got to flip the text to match your perspective. Obviously, the table's uh, the wrong way. As far as I can tell, though, this says Mapuzo, which I think, and when I say this, I'm referring to this text right here. This may be the name of the city planet that Obi-Wan visits. I checked. Mapuzo was named in Star Wars Legends in the Essential Atlas, not much detail about it. It could very well be the same planet, or Mapuzo could be map with Uzo on the end. I'm not sure. There's more Oribesh here too. This trailer's not really high quality enough for me to fully read that. Um, but yeah, that could very well be the name of the planet, but it could be something else as well. Definitely looks like they're tracking something. Um, and as we learn, the hunt for Obi-Wan extends not just to the Empire, but also to the Underworld. And we see that the the Inquisitors are, are working with, uh, go back slightly, Imperial, this almost looks like, I don't know if those are Navy uniforms, but. He's gone. I like how the, so one thing that I just noticed is you can hear probe droid sounds. Just very, very subtle right here. Just like in, um, just like in the Empire Strikes Back. So at first I thought maybe these were launching troopers or even the Inquisitors. That doesn't really make sense though. They've got ships. So this is just like in the Empire Strikes Back at the very beginning, where they launched those probe droids in these little self-contained pods. Um, so they're basically scouring the Jedi or scouring the galaxy for Jedi, but specifically Kenobi. And we can see here. Um, She's probably learned that Obi-Wan has been found by some bounty hunter and uh, she's she's there to finish the job. So this is all translatable as well. It basically just says that Obi-Wan is wanted for, you know, all the crimes that he committed or is alleged to have commit, betraying the Republic and such. I want every low life and bounty hunter. This looks a lot like Forlom, the famous bounty hunter from The Empire Strikes Back. It may not be, but I'm guessing it probably is. Um, if he encounters Kenobi, it makes sense that he would also... Like, if he was one of the successful bounty hunters who tracked him down, it makes sense that the Empire would want to work with him in the future, which may be why he's hired by the time of the Empire Strikes Back. One thing I really like is how much Obi-Wan's using a blaster here. And that makes a lot of sense, because even though he's being hunted and... Even though they think he's a Jedi, the last thing he wants to do, unless he's absolutely desperate, is confirm it by pulling out his lightsaber. Um, still, we know how he feels about blasters uh, from episode 3 and episode 4, so... There's the shuttle, so... It's got the, uh, it does have like Lambda style wings where these two seem to fold up, but I quite like the design, it sort of reminds me of the one used by the Knights of Ren in Episode 9. Oh, I should talk about this. You gotta look at the Purge Troopers. Um, slight redesign on... First of all, there have always been different varieties of Purge Troopers. This one looks to be a bit different, almost like a female variant, just in that it's maybe got a slightly more prominent skirt and does seem to be, be, be a bit thinner than this one over here. That could be imagined by my end. We did, however, get some... Uh, leak saying that the Purge Troopers would have uh, some redesigns compared to Jedi Fallen Order. I really like the look of this droid. Very, uh, very sturdy looking. It kind of reminds me of like the old war droids you read about in the uh, Central Guide to Warfare. But let's let's take a listen to the dialogue as well. Yeah, looks like she's deflecting some blaster bolt. Um, just want to maybe play this again, just somewhat slower. I want to see what he's 
So I don't really know what's going on there with that droid. Uh, maybe he's not a bounty hunter. It looks like he may even be fighting stormtroopers. So there have been... I'm going to get a little bit into leak territory now. And I've covered a lot of what I want to in this video. So if you don't want to hear about leaks, probably now is a time to click away. Um, so I'll give you the warning now and I'll give you a second. But making Star Wars has suggested that... And again, spoiler alert... Princess Leia will be getting a new cute droid. They leaked this before the trailer came out. It looks like this may be the very droid here. This could be Leia's hand even, or it could be someone else on Alderaan giving her the droid. Um, I can see bad things happening to this droid though, obviously as it's not around during, uh, during the original trilogy, but we'll see. You can't escape him. Yeah, that looks like a GR-75, also, that she's standing in front of, which is a nice detail. And who's him? Well, the big man. I kind of wonder, why are they... Oops. Why are they, like, arming themselves on the, the base? Like, is Obi-Wan being dropped off in a shuttle or something? I kind of wonder. I wonder if at some point maybe he's captured. All in all though, great trailer. A lot to talk about here. Is there something I missed? Is there something you'd like to see me discuss further in another video? Let me know all of that and more down below. Sorry for the kind of rushed uh, video here. I don't know why I keep recommending Alex's video here. I've definitely watched it before. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. And yeah, sorry for the, the style of video. I would have liked to kind of put a bit more, at least have my face cam or do a heavily edited version, but I just don't feel that great and I wanted to get this out. So until next time, be safe, have a good one, and may the force be with you.